This is Fox 11 Forum, a look at issues of concern to Tucson and Nogales, with your host, Bob Lee. Good morning. I hope you're having a nice weekend. If you have diabetes, you probably already know your blood sugar levels are too high. Over time, this can damage nerves or blood vessels. Nerve damage from diabetes can cause you to lose feeling in your feet, and as a result, you may not feel a cut, a blister, or a sore. Foot injuries like this can cause ulcers and infections, and serious cases may even lead to amputation. My guest this morning is a surgeon who goes out of his way to avoid diabetic foot-related amputations. We'll talk more about this in just a minute. Every 30 seconds, somewhere in the world, a limb is lost as a consequence of diabetes. My guest this morning says that doesn't necessarily have to be. Let me introduce Dr. David Armstrong, who is Professor of Surgery at the University of Arizona Department of Surgery. He's also Director of the new Southern Arizona Limb Salvage Alliance, or SALSA, at UMC. And there's a clinic that they have at Southern Arizona Healthcare System. Thank you very much for being with us. Um, my first question is, uh, since you specialize in diabetic foot and, and DPM is podiatry and your letters at the end of your deal there. How, what causes someone when, when they're thinking about what they want to do to say, you know what, I'm going to spend the rest of my life fooling around people's feet? <laughs> well, that's a, uh, Bob, first of all, it's a pleasure to be with you. Uh, and uh, and uh, I'll tell you, I, I guess uh, you'd, you'd probably wonder that about feet in general. I, I guess I grew up with feet. Uh, you know, my, uh, my father was a toe mechanic. He was a podiatrist as well, and I grew up in the office. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and I, I so you're watched... You are already desensitized a little then. <laughs> uh, for better or for worse, I suppose so, uh, with, with all that business. But I, I, I guess I grew up watching him um, and a lot of... A lot of uh, our good friends were doctors of various specialties, but I, I watched him especially be able to uh, treat folks, and uh, they, they walked in with pain, and, and they'd leave without pain. And I thought that was wonderful, and that's why I thought I went into it. Uh, but then uh, during my training, particularly during my uh, surgical training, um, I, you know, we'd very often be treating people uh, that had problems with the result of trauma. They may have a fracture or mm -hmm. sports injuries, maybe a high-performance athlete, and I'd see... Uh, in many of them, we'd uh, do a surgery on them and and make them better, and they'd be, but they'd be in pain, but we'd be treating pain. Uh, and uh, the very next day, perhaps we'd treat someone with diabetes, with the ravages of diabetes and a wound. Uh, and uh, these folks, uh, who should by all rights be having pain with holes in their feet and wounds, weren't in any pain at all. Don't feel anything. They didn't have what one of my mentors uh, called the gift of pain, and they've lost that. And that, to me, was fascinating. And uh, treating uh, pain is, is, a, is, uh, is a tremendous uh, gift that's given to us uh, as, uh, as docs. But I think treating the absence of pain and teaching other doctors and teaching patients to respond to the absence of pain, well, that's, uh, that's where it's at with me. Now, you, you just came to U of A. You arrived here last summer. Uh, you came here from Chicago. Now, I can understand people coming to Tucson from Chicago, not necessarily in the summer, though. Um, w what brought you to Tucson? Well, that's a, that's a, a great question. I, I, first of all, obviously, it's a pretty good meteorologic move, especially uh, around... Uh, yeah, I say uh, not necessarily then, but probably no, now. Well, may, may, maybe not, but it's, it's a dry heat. Uh, yeah, Robert, right. That's what I, that's yeah, what and you know that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> but the, but the, I, I will tell you, um, I, uh, uh, I think the really attractive uh, part of this was uh, working uh, as part of a team. You know, I was at a wonderful institution uh, in Chicago uh, where I had, uh, had uh, great uh, access to great people and, and great patients. But what we didn't have in its entirety uh, was uh, the uh, a team uh, to really make a difference. And here, one of my best friends, uh, Dr. Joe Mills, who's the chief of... Uh, of vascular surgery at the University of Arizona and a world-class uh, vascular surgeon along with the other uh, four docs uh, in vascular surgery there equally world-class had a passion 
for uh, for this area as well and prevent amputations and and he uh, worked uh, hard to recruit me out here along with uh, Reiner Grusner, the chief of of, uh, of surgery and a renowned transplant surgeon but uh, I think uh, that coupled with a lot of other things in the weather uh, I think uh, has uh, really uh, made a difference and this is the opportunity for us to make a difference especially in this part of the world where we really have uh, a horrible epidemic of diabetes. I want to talk obviously a, a little bit more about diabetes and, and some of the things that are going into the treatment and prevention as we talked about but I did mention this uh, 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 SALSA, the Southern Arizona Limb Salvage Alliance, just briefly before we take a break. What is that? Well, SALSA, besides being kind of a snappy acronym, that's about the only thing I do well, yeah, I Bob, just... is make, make, <laughs> make acronyms. Um, uh, pretty, uh, but uh, but uh, it's what it really is. I think it, 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 it's, it's a team. And uh, uh, we like to say that uh, uh, it, two chefs... Uh, in the kitchen make uh, make great salsa. They don't spoil the soup, as it were. Uh, and uh, and when we have a team uh, in place to manage folks with diabetes and the and the foot and lower extremity complications, like we do, um, we can really make a difference. And we call our team uh, the toe and the flow. In that in that we have uh, me. I'm the I'm the the podiatrist, the the toe mechanic, if you will, and I'm taking care of the medical and surgical aspects of of, uh, of uh, uh, treating patients and uh, preventing sores and healing them. Um, and uh, my colleague and good friend Joe Mills, on the other hand, uh, is, is taking care of the flow, the plumbing, as it were, uh, down, to the, uh, down to the extremity because I'm sort of hostage uh, to, on the you peninsula. You get what's left over. <laughs> we, we do. And, uh, and when you put those two ingredients together, it makes for something special. And that, remarkably, has not existed to this extent uh, in a lot of places around the world. And we've successfully set up units like this in many parts of the world. But here um, we have everything in play to really, really make a difference. And, and the most important thing we have here are folks or patients that, that really need the care. And in uh, Southern Arizona, we really have the triple whammy of, uh, of, of older folks moving into the area. Uh, of uh, Latinos uh, in the area and uh, uh, na naturally uh, Native Americans and all of those folks high have, risk groups uh, have very high risk for diabetes and uh, and so you know for some of our hospitals 60 percent of the admissions in the hospital are for folks with diabetes and the most common reason that they'll be admitted to the hospital is not necessarily for a heart attack or a stroke or high blood sugar remarkably uh, it's for a foot problem having said that when we come back, we will talk about how you do manage that and how you do save limbs. Stay with us. We'll be right back.